Hey guys, this is Odd One Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. So we are back on the free to play today, and it's been a little bit since we talked uh, about the up, you know, the progress, the update on the fusion. I spoke a little bit only, you know, when I pulled the shards, but it's time to, you know, dive back into it and see exactly where I am at with because it was a little bit of a dicey one and it was a little bit of a scary one. If you remember you know if you or at least if you've been following along i have mentioned that the way that i was doing this fusion is let's look at the calendar before is by completely skipping the summon rush that's the way i usually try to do it because summon rush usually they're bad the 10x's are not worth it it requires tons of shards and in my opinion they're usually a waste but for these types of fusion you know may it be a fragment one or a classic one when they have the possibility of skipping one of them they usually require you to first uh, to place first or second in one of the tournaments you know so we had two four six eight tournaments and my only shot was you know trying to get first or second in one of these tournament groups and that's never really easy to do and it's kind of risky so you know i usually tell people if you can do that do it but it's kind of risky so don't try to do it unless you know you're ready to commit to one of those ones and win them because you know I, I i also got some some you know pro and con when it comes to the feedback on this one so instead of risking it like you know like i'm doing i don't really care if i if i miss it it is what it is but <laughs> i usually try to to do it like that so i'm as efficient as possible the best way to usually uh to do it is if there's the champion what's it called if there's the champion chase first and then there's the summon rush that way you can make it easier because you know what by the time you get to that summon rush there might already be some tournaments maybe you already grabbed yourself five fragments for from one of the tournaments and then you can decide like okay i'm skipping this for me it was a bit of a risk because you know it was the first day or second day of the fusion and i decided i'm skipping the summon rush so it was a bit scary. I did not manage to get Dragon Classic. I did not manage to do anything. Like, none of them were possible for me because, you know what, they, the groups usually look a little bit scary and a little bit tricky. And, you know, kind of requires me to commit really hard. So, you know, kind of makes it almost impossible. Look at this. I got 3,100 points in the Fire Knight one. But the first and second place, look at this, 7.5, 6.9. So almost double triple my uh my points so that makes it kind of hard to do one of these ones unless you manage to find yourself an easier group or maybe if you blast from the beginning you know you just keep pushing those points so you, you secure your first uh your first place in there maybe you discourage other people i guess that's kind of like what these two did so <clears throat> always need to keep that in mind but what actually happened and what was kind of uh i guess i guess a little bit of a miracle for me i suppose is I actually managed to snipe second place in the champion chase. <laughs> like, I, this is the third or fourth time when I actually managed to get either first or second place in the champion chase, you know. So, I will take it. This means that, you know, me sniping this one over here means that I have secured my fusion, you know. Obviously, if I manage to get the other milestone one. So... Actually, let's look for. So I got myself second place, and the way to did it, you see, you see, it was a little bit tricky. I was like here at 5,500. I stopped there, you know. I kind of didn't want to show the opponents that I'm I'm planning to go more. I just want to show like, okay, I grabbed myself the book, and that's it. I stopped. So that's what I did last night. However, in the meantime, what I did is I prepared myself the points to do, you know, to to drop last second because. If you have the availability to be there when it ends, that's one of the best and one of the easiest ways to actually get yourself, you know, to snipe a champion chase. Obviously, if you have the points, if you have stuff to fuse. So the way that I did it, like I said, I was at like 5,500 something points and I prepared myself the food to fuse another one. Let me move myself to the side. So I prepared the food. I had the four rares, level 40, fully ascended. I did that last night. Prepared them to fuse another one of the resin uh, epics so i have my second one that was 250 points at the same time what i had over here which obviously we cannot see right now but i fused myself the drexar that i you know i just recently got in the last week i got the last fragments and i had drexar ready to fuse so i was keeping drexar specifically for one of these things either for a champion chase when i needed extra points or i don't know if i needed to blast during a cvc where it's worth 
blasting but you know what on our in our clan and uh, for our level it's not really worth going that crazy especially if you're facing you know a lot you know a lot stronger clan because we're you know we're still early we're free to play and the the chances of us winning are pretty low so this is what i did with my drag and it was completely worth it it was 100 percent worth it because look at this it secured me the next fusion and guess what this is gonna do me f <clears throat> me finishing this fusion is gonna mean that I'm gonna have again another one of those champions that I can use for a champion chase to give me 500 points or again during a CVC to give me 30,000 points. Reason being that kind of like Drexar, Jetney is, is not account changing for me. Like she does bring some good AoEs, she does bring decreased defense, she's gonna definitely speed up my faction wars. <laughs> Funny saying that on a free to play, but she's gonna speed up my faction wars for the barbarians considerably. Especially because I already have, you know, I already have Farrakhan the Fat, I already have Shieldgar for the nukes, ally attacks uh, from Farrakhan as well, revives from Jamarsa. So that's gonna be a lot faster with her in there. Because when it comes to the other content, I don't need another nuker. I have Supreme El Hain. I have a Ronda. I have, you know, even Razzle Vulcan Smack. I have myself a Tronda. I have Dark El Hain. I have plenty of other nukers. So this account is not lacking nukers. That's for sure. So I just went for this fusion, kind of like the way that I said it at the beginning, because why not? It wasn't that, you know, it wasn't that hard to do. I didn't have to commit crazy hours. I just had to do my daily grind, grab my milestone rewards. And that was about it. That was about it. The only thing were like a little bit of a struggle were the artifact enhancement events. But the way that I did that is either prepared gear at level 15 that I already had on champions, or I just, you know, looked on my account what was the best gear that I had, just roll that up to 12 or 16. So the last things that I will have to do, like, you know, I already finished this artifact enhancement. I grabbed myself the other ancient shard because I wanted to pull it during the two times. So I blasted this uh, yesterday. There's nothing else happening now in the events, the tournaments, champion training just started. I'm not going too crazy on this one right now. And I'm, you know, I'm suggesting to you guys don't, don't go too crazy either because CVC starts tomorrow. So just use your daily energy if you, you know, unless you have lots of energy stacked, use your daily energy and then use everything else tomorrow. Like as an example, let me show you how I did it. I just got myself, I'm getting myself some level 20s up. I'm not getting, I'm not upgrading them now. I'm leaving that for tomorrow because you know what? We're gonna do the usual double dipping, guys. Points for clan versus clan and points for the champion training. That's the best way to do it. Then when it comes to the classic arena, I already finished this and I was trying, you know, I was trying to keep myself there at the top and I was gonna blast this one. So if I did not grab the champion chase, I was gonna go for the arena one. Now that I, I got it, I'm just gonna do my daily arena and don't care and, you know, I'm not gonna try and get first or second because I'm not gonna try and be, uh, you know, a problem for other people so you know what if you're one of the guys that is watching this and you know that you already secured your fragments for this fusion and you don't necessarily need to get first or second please keep that in mind that there might be some other people that are desperate to grab those ones and if you see that you're at the top don't don't just try to do it for five star relentless you know at least from this one give other people a chance to this fusion because they might really want it so you know try to think about that uh if, even if it's not now in the future if you know that you already have it don't try to go too crazy unless you you know you need it or if you're going crazy i don't know just try and slow yourself down to, to go for third place and you know just be, be a kind human i guess <laughs> but yeah i guess uh that's that's about it there's nothing else i want to show i'm i'm still pushing you know my my uh my farming on dungeons, my farming in arena, on Doom Tower I stopped this time around. I don't think I'm going to continue doing this because I'm short on the silver. It's hard to, you know, I don't have the silver to regear and try and build other people. So I'm just slowly working around getting more silver, getting more gear, getting more food champs to six star more people. And then my next goal is going to be, you know, hopefully I'm going to get to the point where I can two key consistently and then I can make a video on this team. This is the, the team that I'm using. As soon as I get to the two key consistently, not on affinity, but on void, I'm going to make that video. But yeah, that's 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 going to be something that I uh, I still need to work on because I mentioned in the previous video, you know, that I got Jorag, but I looked around in my calculator with the you know with having Jorag in the team and just does not add up it's Jorag doesn't help me as much because of it being on a 4-3 so I just have to leave it as it is for now and yeah it is what it is but the funny thing that's gonna happen and the next thing I'm gonna focus might be Hydra 
to go too hard actually because look at this team let me show you <clears throat> look at this team i just did this this morning because i had a quest you know and i put it on auto after i had 9 million so i did another 12 million 30 million on full auto i think that means that i can i can easily move myself to hard and maybe just try and get myself some some extra chest in here because these are going to be really important guys it's really important especially because i don't have mithrala yet so getting myself another one two fragment oh two three fragments if i get top chest if not one two i think it's on all of the lower ones that's gonna definitely speed up you know the the process of getting me through i think i'm gonna try and see my goal is to, to going to be to try and get top chest from heart even though it might only be one chest and then grab whatever chest from here honestly getting the first chest or the last one is the same so i can just throw an aoe hp bar in there and a provoke get a 1.6 million that's it moving on with my day because we're taking it down so that's gonna be my goal trying to get the hard uh top chest two or three fragments plus the other stuff is definitely gonna be worth it but anyway let's leave it at this for for this uh video today so i'm on track with the fusion all's going all's going good the last ones that i need to grab are 10 from here five from here another 10 from here that's 25 that's exactly what i'm missing and that's gonna be the gen need the giant fusion done but yeah, this is going to be it for the video today, guys. If you do enjoy my content, as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to see when I upload next. And I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.